and welcome back to this video where I'm going to be breaking down the Salvation DLC 4 trailer gameplay, whatever the hell you want to call it, it's for Revelations. Um, let's just get into it, we're going to reduce the volume. That was actually an amazing, an amazing little uh, trailer. So we got the Day of Reckoning. It's here. <laughs> So we got this Apothecan symbol, they do that with every single trailer that they've done. They did it with like Dyson Dragon Zetabo, Gorge Trophy, I believe, as well. So we got the house. Everything is floating purely probably because of that 115 stuff. Even though you can't see it. You got premise statues, but they're not underwater like everyone thought. So knowledge itself is for something the taking, or knowledge itself is for the taking. Quite interesting. That might even be from like Mob of the Dead or something. Um I didn't actually play Mob of Dead a huge amount, so I don't actually know the map that well. And I can see in the background there's also a Juggernaut machine as well, so that's pretty awesome to see as well. We have uh, scenes from the Eisendracker, like we already knew from the previous trailers. And uh, this, which still nobody really knows what it is. I believe it's something to do with the staffs, if we get the staffs. Which, thinking about it, I didn't actually see any staff gameplay, but um, I might have missed it. So we've got this little area, quite interesting, probably Easter egg related, because it looks pretty weird. We've got all these red little balls around everywhere, I don't even know what they are. Um, we've got the characters running through, but it looks a bit like an Origins-esque area. Now at this point in the trailer, we actually see the Hell's Redeemer. It was in the shop for about one or two frames, so I want to give a massive shout out to my friend Minuteman, who actually noticed this and let me know as soon as he saw it. This is a great find, and I've seen no other YouTuber talk about it so far, so I'll put his link in the description below if you want to go check him out, then please do so. I cannot wait to play with the Hell's Redeemer. It's obviously going to be such an awesome weapon to bring back into Revelations. I didn't even think about this weapon to be an option. And this also means that there is either going to be some dogs around the map to feed, like under Eisendracker or like from Mob of the Dead, or that we're going to have some other way to get the Hell's Retriever. Either way, it's going to be awesome. Um, Ricked off with what weapon is that? Alright, so I can see like a shotgun by the looks of it. Nikolai's got his care arm. That's a VMP, okay, nothing new there, or Vespa or whatever. Uh, zombies. See some colourful berries or something on the right hand side. I just want to quickly go back and try to look at that again. So, I don't know what that is on the right hand side. The far right hand side, I don't quite know what it is. Um, but yeah, some sort of colourful berries by the looks of it. Um, Mob of the Dead. So, here we are. Fire, body bags. Pretty standard. I recognise this even though I've never played Mob of the Dead that much. And that nice transition right there as well was actually really, really cool. Right, that transition there. We got a quick little shot there before changes. Body on a spike. Trying to. So these are. Hold on. Yellow eyed zombies, I think. So we've got a different Revelations logo uh, colour and everything. That's, you know, pretty standard, I guess. This is the spawn room by the looks of it, from like pictures and things that we've seen. This is the spawn room. I don't know why this is actually down, thinking about it. Uh, but yeah, this is the spawn room. We have the plant pots on the right hand side there on the staircase. That could be something we could pick up. Um, church window on the right, uh, on the left hand side there. That thing again. Zombies, more zombies. That the, the gun that uh, Richtofen had. This looks actually like Shangri-La, looking at it. The statue on the left hand side, the, the stones of rubbles and everything, that looks a lot like Shangri-La. This looks like the, the stairs leading up to the Pack-a-Punch. Alright, red-eyed zombies. So that's quite weird, because we just saw yellow-eyed zombies, I swear. But that's pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's the KM44, so we got that. Uh, we got her looking a bit angry. Hold on. That looks a little bit like the sun inside of that thing. I'm not too sure. It could just be a yellow ball of anything. There's a pistol in the background. It looks like the the BR2 something or other from uh, like you know the one you have in like transit on the bus and that. I could be wrong. Um, but that's what it looks like. That looked like um, Shangri-La. By the looks of it. So this looks like Shangri-La again. Uh, mainly set up because of the statues and bits and bobs. More zombies, I could be wrong with the eye colour now thinking about it. Speed cola. Um, this is what I was on about, the tongue gusker. Numbers and bits and bobs. Writing on the wall. There you have 
very prominently in the Ruct. Uh, if you've ever played the Ruct, I'm sure you'd have seen all of this on the wall. Um, Mob of the Dead, pretty clear shot, body bags, etc. Uh, I don't think I can see anything else in the shot that looks or resembles anything. Uh, just another Mob of the Dead shot. There's a pistol again. Could be the AK-5 looking at it from that angle. That could be a different pistol as well. Um, but I'm pretty sure it looked like the BR, whatever it's called from uh, from Transit and those maps. And the Latalani. The Latalani has returned yet again. There was actually a lot of people thinking, was it going to be monkey bombs? Was it going to be Latalani's? Quite glad it's Latalani's because we've had monkey bombs in a lot of maps now. Pistol in the background again on the wall by. We have a car with some lights on. I don't think normally they have the lights on, so that's quite interesting. Um, nothing else to take away from that shot. There's a quick revive in the background on the right-hand side with a mystery box location there as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Lani's about to be thrown. The lights in the car is actually moving as well. Alright, so that's not an upgrade of one or whatever, so just a standard Lani. Uh, electric traps are back. That's in the Mob of the Dead area again by the looks of it. Um, nothing else new to see there really. This, I'm not too sure of. This is a load of zombies going through there. Kino de Toten, is that? It looks like Kino de Toten. Reimagined version, if you imagine looking at the stage, there's a teleport to the left hand side, and you've got the stage, which is a little bit different with like those characters there with the staffs. I just, just realised. Interesting, they got the staffs. And then you got a mystery box location in the background. You got something else in the background next to the mystery box on the left hand side of that as well, sort of in the center. And then you have the little where the trap was in Kino de Toten in the middle there as well, where I can't even make out who that is, but someone is sat there on the uh, on the little stand. So I'm pretty sure this is the reimagined area of Kino de Toten, and you can see the tree there on the right hand side as well. Uh, nothing to edit. And then here you see the left hand side. I don't actually know what gun that is. I can't make out oh, that's like a. I don't want to be wrong, so I'm not going to say what gun it is. But there's a gun of some sort on the left hand side, and then um, just casually reloading the Apothecan servant. Servant. I want to go back back a bit there. So, what's that in the background though? It's sort of like in the background in the middle. Looks a little bit like it could be who's who, but I doubt it's who's who. This is like a circle. And I don't know what it is. I did download like the the big the the best quality trailer, but obviously it still didn't download that great. Um, because I can't make out exactly what it is. Is that another perk machine? Actually, now I look at it, it's, it's not quite who's who shape. Um, if you want to know, if you know what perk machine that is, if it's even a perk machine, put ahead in the comments below. It could be something from another another map, like Kino, that I've just forgotten about. But that's really interesting. I don't know what that exactly is. So yeah, Apothecary Servant about to be shot. There we have the... So we're on the stage right now, Kino again. We're about to shoot the Apothecary Servant. So obviously the Apothecary Servant returning in Revelations for sure. It's got the purple, so that's the upgraded Apothecary Servant, I think. Oh wait, no, no, I can't remember now. I actually can't remember at this point in time. But I'm pretty sure we know it's going to be upgraded. So that's being shot. There's something on the left hand side there. Right, so we've got the premise statues and stuff in the background. Shoots that. Left hand side, I think that's just a flag or something. Uh, the, the chairs and stuff on the right hand side, I don't think there's anything there I missed. This is actually my second time watching it through, so if I do miss anything, obviously I will miss some stuff. Um, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Oh my god, at this point. Well, to be fair, I did think it was a Magua. Well, that's a Magua. So let's go back a bit because it, it was a little bit like missed. So, I was like, so what the hell is this? This is probably the new boss. As well as all the other bosses that we have. Margaret with one head. A keeper. Pretty standard. So we know they're going to return. They didn't actually show up in Guard Crowby, which is quite interesting. A Magua with um, one head killed. And um, I'm not sure that's the same Magua 
<clears throat> or if it's like a different, it looks like it's got like blue in its mouth, although it could be like what they do with their traders where they color correct it and everything. Um, yeah, its mouth looks, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, he's opened it up, it definitely looks blue. Uh, again, it could be color corrected, it could be new stuff that comes out, it might not necessarily be those, uh, the yellow uh, parasites that come out from Shadows of Evil. Uh, there's Hakio trying to kill it. Still got the blood vials, okay, interesting. Right, Richtofen. Tell us why they're there. We got shots of this. We got a shield of some sort. Don't, oh no, okay, we, we're doomed. We're actually doomed. This is the t the bad shield. I was hoping Gorod Krovi's shield would come back. So this is in the Eisendraka area. Uh, and the Ragnaroks are back. Interesting choice. What's that on the left-hand side? Looks like some Apothecan stuff or whatever. I really don't know. Left hand side, there's something there, and it must be Easter egg related because everything is nowadays. There's Rick Toffin floating in midair. He's about to slam. But the red stuff, that's like, I don't even know what they're doing. There's actually a table in the middle right there as well. Let's just go back a slight bit. There's a table right there in the middle. Uh, again, keep that in mind because that might be uh, Easter egg related. It could be interesting. Uh, so the zombies are there, like, oh, crap. They get flung up. Um, just a load of action shots right here. I don't think there's anything that we're missing. There's uh, this dude again. <clears throat> don't even know what to call him. Uh, whatever the hell that is in the right-hand side next to Richtofen. Um, at this point, this is, I don't even know what map this could be resembling. It probably isn't resembling a map. Uh, Nick Nikolai, he's got the death machine pretty standard got that big blue orb of whatever the hell that is Weapons look like pretty standard look like weapons. We've already got um, looks like a haymaker VMP And then there's like blue coming up from the floor and there's the the apothecan going down. He's now magically got the dingo Zombie trying to swipe him Is that the end? Nope, not quite. All right, and here's the starting room where actually they leaked this image last week in the other trailer for the thumbnail. And it's one that I actually have uh, used for my own thumbnails a few times. Um, What to say about it? There's a Shiva, well, it looks like a Shiva anywhere on the left-hand side. There's a Pack-a-Punch on the truck. Pack-a-Punch looks a bit too high. You can't actually access it, but it looks a bit there. What well, I think, maybe if it's going to stay there, is um, that like little bit underneath the pack a punch, like on the truck, will flop down so you can walk over like a little ramp and then you can pack a punch. That's what I'm imagining. I uh, don't know how much you could get that high up. Like, that is such a big monster, you can tell by the size. And then we got characters. What's that through the doorway? It looks quite interesting. Wait. I really can't make that out. I really cannot make that one out either. I thought for a second maybe it's PhD flopper. Don't want to get my hopes up or anything. Cannot see it that well. Now that'd be awesome if PhD returns. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna play it. And do we get any note? Okay, we do not get anything else. And uh, and there. Uh, that concludes this breakdown of the trailer. That was actually an amazing trailer. I wasn't really expecting nothing else. I knew it was going to be an amazing trailer because of what we got last week. And I'm just really pumped, really hyped for this time next week when we're going to be actually be able to play it. I'm going to be streaming this time next week, Revelations, for the first time, obviously, because that's the day it comes out. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the live stream. I don't know. I'm hoping to stream for quite a while. So if you guys are there, certainly come along, just, you know, come in the chat and say hi. And, uh, yeah, I should be there for, uh, you know, at least quite a few hours, you know. I'm hoping for a 12-hour stream, not a 24-hour stream, although I doubt that's going to be the case. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please make sure to leave a like rating, comment down below anything I may have missed out, subscribe for more Zombies content, and as always, I'll see you next time. Peace out. This brings back some memories. Not all of them good. Not any of them good, to be honest.
I do not know if we can survive this place, but I will do my damnedest. We stand together, now more than ever. The final battle has begun. What happens if I let out of jar? Does it make boom? Just when you think the whole universe is against you, it throws you a bone. The whole universe is against us. I have fought bears more scary than you. Choo-choo, freak bag! Bloom contracted a severe case of gravity! Everything has led to this moment. Destiny is not on your side. It is on ours.